It is finally time to swap out those little tiny tires for something a little bit bigger. Before I change these out though, I would like to measure the weight with this tire and tube versus this tire and tube and see if we're adding or subtracting any weight. It'll be interesting to see how much height we also gain um, measured from the axle. We're starting off with eight and a half inches to the bottom of that axle. So we'll see what it is uh, with these new tires on. Here is the smaller tire and the tube is just sitting on top of that and we got nine pounds 13 ounces with the original tire set up and then oversized around the same weight for just the just the tire and hard to balance this one and put the tube on there and it looks like around 12 pounds, so quite the difference, but still pretty light, not too bad. Hold on, let me stop you right there. You see that little red dot on the tire? Well, that little red dot signifies the lightest point of the tire and usually you're supposed to line that up with the valve stem. Doing that prevents your tires from shaking at high speeds, but luckily this plane is pretty slow, so I shouldn't really have to worry about that. But if it does become a problem in the future, uh, that's something I'm gonna have to go back and fix. <laughs> guys there's tire number two done and ready to go on you can really see these two are right beside each other and wow quite the difference right beside each other that's for sure so in the front of the plane i'm trying to save as much weight as i can because i've upgraded the engine to be quite a bit bigger and uh, i'm actually trying to add weight to the tail so this thing didn't even have a baggage compartment before you would just throw your stuff in the back sitting on the fabric so whatever you put in there would have had to have been pretty pretty soft and light so here I'm actually making uh, a whole new baggage compartment out of birch plywood, which is still pretty light, but it does help balance the plane out a little bit because it's pretty far behind the center of gravity. So adding this will actually be a pretty nice addition uh, to help balance out the plane. And now you got a nice area to put your stuff in the back that you don't have to worry about it puncturing the fabric or the weight of it sitting on the fabric. Also, this birch plywood is pretty easy to work with, a lot faster to work with than carbon. So. That's pretty nice. Also, the carpet sticks to it a lot nicer too, so that's kind of cool. All right, here's a look at that baggage compartment. Pretty much ready to go, ready to get covered. Lots of space in this thing. I ran a strip of some like door seal foam stuff that is single-sided because that would kind of, when you'd hit this, it would kind of flex down and hit that because there's a bit of an air gap in there. And then I've also got these guys screwed in holding that battery lead in place. And it's not touching anywhere. Wraps around out of the way for this fuel line. Uh, this can't go in yet until it's covered because it has to get poked through the fabric underneath. And I've got the rest of this uh, wires and lines and stuff all kind of run here. Pretty much ready to go. All the wires go up into here where your electrical bus will be somewhere in this area. And then, yeah, uh, just getting this thing ready to get covered. It's pretty much there. Now, because I've added so much weight with this uh, engine upgrade and a few other things along the way like this support the other side bigger gear bigger tires um, 
I have to shed weight wherever I can. And this is the floor pan that covers all the way up to the stick. And then there's also some other pieces of metal over there that cover up the sides of the seat, kind of trim around the seat and stuff like that. But I'm gonna be going extremely minimal. I'm also gonna be ditching this aluminum and making some out of some carbon fiber. Um, and I'm also only gonna be going to here with it. So that should shave off quite a few pounds. We're gonna weigh all of the aluminum parts. So this, this, uh, and then everything else over there that we're going to be getting rid of. And then we'll weigh the carbon fiber one at the end. And we'll see how much weight we save. I think it's going to be around three pounds, approximately. Maybe three or four. And the other thing, too, with all, most of this aluminum uh, is forward of the CG. So uh, all that will be very, very good to remove that weight. Um, because we've added quite a bit of weight up front. Um, I did shift the battery back, which is quite heavy. So any weight that we can shed from the front saves putting literally a lead weight in the very tail of this thing. So yeah, losing weight up front, very important, or shifting anything we can back. When I finish this seat back, uh, I used masking tape to use kind of a mold release. Um, and there was a lot of lines with that. Someone actually suggested using uh, this vinyl wrap, which I had some laying around. And that should give a better finish, uh, I'm hoping. We'll see how it turns out, but thank you for that. All right, I got it all cut out and I got the holes drilled in it so it's ready to be screwed down to the floor. And it's also cut out for the brake pedals and the rudder pedals, so that'll fit right in there. And I have fit it, it does fit, looks great. Um, but I would like to weigh it and see what the difference is. So I'll also be scrapping all this aluminum that kind of cased around the seat. So it kind of went um, covering up this control stick and stuff, but that's not really necessary. Um, doesn't really serve much purpose other than cosmetics. So that is some weight I can afford to shed. So let's see how much weight um, I'm really losing with going to carbon fibers. Okay, we'll start with all this aluminum trim hardware stuff. And let's see what we got. We've got 1.7 pounds for just that aluminum. This plate here, let's see what we got with that. I'll just balance it. And we've got... 4.17 and then we'll measure this carbon fiber piece see what we got now Point nine three. so that's more than four pounds and this weighs less than a pound and it's still pretty strong um, once it sits on these supports that go through the middle of these bars here, um, that stiffens it up quite a bit. So that's good to know, saving a few pounds. So to visualize five pounds, here's an oscillating saw with a four amp hour battery and then another five amp hour battery. So that is five pounds. Just to prove it, I'll take it off. Just go back to zero. Yeah, there you go. That's the difference between all that aluminum and this new carbon fiber floor pan. All right, guys, floor is in. And man, does it ever look good. It's crazy that you can get these kind of results with carbon just at home. Um, but wrapping it in some vinyl wrap really made the difference. So thank you again to whoever suggested that. Um, yeah, it came out flawless. This, uh, this circle you kind of see here was actually cut in the floor pan before. So that kind of showed through even though it was vinyl wrapped. But aside from that, it is pretty well perfect. It's pretty neat that the weight added by those bigger tires was almost exactly the same as the weight that was subtracted with this carbon fiber floor pan. So I didn't plan that to happen, but man, they were almost bang on for the, uh, the trade-off there. So that's pretty neat. 
Um, anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. If you made it to this part of the video, thank you. If you guys like this and want to see some more, make sure you like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next one.